Hey guys, welcome to Wildcat Man I just out today with the guys picking some berries, we're collecting some wild blueberries, raspberries, strawberries and if we get enough of them we're gonna make we jam. So hope you enjoy the video. Some wild strawberries, not quite ripe this one here yet, so it's not. And you got some heavy, yeah, there's a few yeah. in there, so there's, they don't grow as big as your traditional strawberry, but they're they're quite sweet. Go on in then, girls. What, what are these here? Raspberries. Raspberries. Oh, let's see them, Eva. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Not bad. Good girls. So we're now up into the clearing and we're looking for wild blueberries we are. They're hard to find them below the wee branches but still so find some in the bush. There's a wee one there. Let's see Eva what you got. Oh there's a few yeah. They're hard to spot. Okay guys the path was very very cut back as it was. was a, pruning but we're fine off the beaten path now into here we're fine loads of bushes we have and we're starting to get a, get a few now so we're starting to get a few now still some strawberries in there survive from i walk up and there's amelia up there look at the ants eating the bug guys they're crawling inside it so we have See this, and guys, we have found Look. the mother load. Finally, a bush with more than three berries on it. It's been a bit sparse now because of all the the cutting back from the farmer or whatever. But look at that there. We're going to have jam today. We're going to have jam. Yo. So I'm going to let the fire for us today. Mummy, I'm going to help me. I'm going to, what we'll do is we'll sit here and tuck the birch bark floor and make it easier for you to strike me with. Yeah. Try that, yeah, I'll hold it for you. There you go. Okay, so let, let, let the bird protect now, okay? Do you put this on, do you? I'm gonna start to take you put your stick on, okay? Okay. Well done, Mayda. Good girl. Hey. Oh. You didn't go as far as put my stick on that. Yeah, that's okay, just take your time and put them on gently, yeah. Don't choke the fire. Yeah, that's enough for now. Because that bird's barking that wet, so it is okay? Yeah. Good girl. Take nice little. Eva. What? Good job, my dear. Well done. Unless you maybe got the way it's time for night. Can you help me load it up, Daddy? Yeah, it'll help you load it up nice time. I think pile of bags there. Put that pop pile on there, yeah. Set that across the top of it. Set that across the top of it now, yeah. Yeah, well, that's you. Yep. Yeah, we'll just do this stuff here. We'll just pile it up so we'll make it here. That's enough for now, I think. And we'll get her going. Yeah, I'm going to do this way. Get this all on, yeah? Yeah. There we go. Well, everything that dumps it is. Yeah. That'll get it going. Yeah. Good job, Mila. Well done. What do you think? Good job? Yeah. Will that keep the measures away now? What? Yeah. Well, we're going to collect some wood now so we can make some 
uh, bannock and jam, yeah? Yeah. Good girl. Never put the nice horse stuff in there. Mm. Always have it. Probably change direction. Yep, turn it around. Good girl. Yep. Always keep the knife away from me at all times. Keep your hand behind the blade. Good girl. Ava, make sure that you keep the knife pointing away from yourself. Keep your hands behind the blade and have the blade off to the side of your legs. Never have it in your legs, yeah? yeah? If you're having trouble cutting, Stop and try again from a different angle, you know I mean, because you're probably going to be just pushing too hard, okay? Yep. Yeah, take your time. Keep the angle blade nice and shallow so it's not digging into the wood. Keep it nice and shallow. Yeah, don't dig into the wood. Point it down the way. Yeah, that's you. And push your, el your, your whole, whole wrist, yep. That's you. Good girl. Good girl. Well guys, we're just getting the fire. Get the fire going so we can bake some bread. We did cut up some rounds. Um, we'll then attempt to make some jam. Do you make the jam PJ in the open fire do you? Or you make over a burner? Yeah, I was going to use a mixer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just rake, just get some coals. Just dump coals and do it with the fire. Just sell it. Yeah, you want it nice and hot, you kind of want to sort of boil it. Yeah, okay. I'll take your guidance on it. I'm not an expert. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Work it last time. Can you Perfect. put that there? Trying this dragon gel, see how it goes. In the Wild Camp International bush box or titanium stove. Pour some water. See how that goes. Looks the part. That's dragon feel like in a, a wee trangia tub you get for it. Just they take like a solid fuel gel. So supposedly uh, a small bag of it should give you several hours cooking time. So we'll soon see. Burns away with very little residue, not bad at all. Is the smoke getting you guys? Yeah. So what are you doing? Well, we just have to go through this and make sure there's no wee leaves or twigs. It made the smoke getting you, is it? Come around this side here. Come around the other side of the PJ. Are you okay? Smoke's got my eyes. The smoke's swirling the diggers, doesn't it, oh. boys? So what we got, we got a mixed a mix, a mix berry jam today. We're going to do a mixed berry jam, aren't we? So what do we have? Yeah. We've got lots of bilberries. Oh, yeah. And what are those? Raspberries. Raspberries. And, and there's a couple yes. of wee strawberries. A few wee strawberries. Oh, wow. So what you got to do? You've got to just add some water to this, well, are you? I'm going to add some, no, just some jam sugar. Some jam sugar. But we just have to wee look and get the wee leaves out. Okay, perfect. So just add some jam sugar, then add it to the heat. Pretty much, yep. Okay, that's perfect. So, we're going to make a wee bannock. 
we use Ray Mayer's new book for the recipe. It's a traditional bannock. So this is for a, a plain bannock. So we have some plain flour, some bacon powder in the flour. We add some oil. And we, we, we add some oil to this flour. Maybe add two tablespoons, you know. Mum will do it roughly, right? It's okay. Oh, you got a tablespoon there. And then we've got some butter to butter the pan. And we add some water to it and that'll give us a, a very easy bannock and hopefully we'll get a nice bread recipe. Yep. Oh, it has a hole in it, doesn't it? No. no. Oh, I thought it was the <laughs> This is the quality control department here, so it is. <laughs> Making sure we're getting no impurities in our jam. And t t taste testers as well built in. How is it, how are they tasting? Good. Good. Good, good, good. Do we have a dough forming? We have a dough forming. Good, good, good. You might need to knead it with your hands started. Once you get all the flour, like it's best thing to try and combine it with some kind of implement first of all. Because once you get it all combined together and then you can put a bit of flour in your hands and try and bring it all together in one go rather than cause if you try and do it now you get your hand all stick beforehand. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of mess that is. So now when we can try and combine it into a dough if she uses if she needs to use extra flour you get the flour ready for her in the oil bag even it? over Just there because you want to oil your pan do yeah. for the first side but yep yeah. yeah. it's on the floor on the floor oh, there you are do you want some more yeah just open it up at the top and sprinkle it on the dough or on yeah. your hand Sprinkle it there. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, it's not coming. Don't turn your hands. Open it up. Can we leave it? Come help, PJ. This is what this is. Uh, jam sugar. You want to yeah. do it, Amelia? Yeah. It's jam sugar, is it? Yeah. And it's what jam does, sugar. What does it have in it? Is it pectins? It has pectin. Which helps it kind of make the, the jam congeal. Yeah. yeah. So. How much do you put in? Uh, a couple mm -hmm. more. A few more for now, yeah. Oh, it looks good, it does. Mm -hmm. Juice starting to run already. Is that the kind of sugar pulling the pulling the, nah, just, the juice out of it? No, no, it's just a couple cool. of them got squished, I think. <laughs> but we'll mash it up in a minute here. Very good. That would never have been either running. So you mixed up, Millie, are you? Yeah. I'm starting mashing Squashing it. them. Oh, that's a good idea, it is. Squashing and mixing. Mm. Oh. oh, that's good. Is that nice and easy? Can you use the PJ to fill in spoon? Spork. Spork. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, look. Delicious. So I'll come good. back to you in two seconds, guys, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see your bread. Hold that up to the camera. That's looking good. So you're going to put that into the frying pan. You oil the pan, have you? Yeah. Perfect. Oiled. So, this and is how much flour do you have on yourself, Eva? Loads. Not, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Will we cook you? <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> we have the bread going on here and the jam going on here. It's a full full kitchen going on so it's the fire yeah, we'll starting to burn down nice so it is. Oh, See what I mean? You don't need to put water. Oh yeah, that's cool. You don't need to put water in it, there's enough. Look the way it's all coming out so it is. Oh yeah, see I'd add a water to that and made no, a mess with it. Good job. Like that, we wait. For now, just let me leave it waiting. And start cooking. We're going to try something different today, guys. Where we're going to go sweet and savoury. We're going to make haggis with our 
uh, jam and her bannock. Watch, 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 not too thick. So, just cut up some slices of haggis now. This is, we got it from Scotland, we did. Where did you get it from, Ava? Bonnie Scotland. Bonnie Scotland. <laughs> Either that or use you. Right. Can you put your bit of hay, Bray? Yeah. Can I get the haggis? The haggis is going on. Oh, here you go. Cut the pan now and put it in. Flatten it out. Really flat. The whole way around the pan, yeah. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and get some embers. Oh. What's the haggis going on? The haggis is not going after. I wonder if it actually This could take a while to reduce, so. Don't taste it in a I don't taste it in a while. Poor haggis. I'm just going here. Doing stuff. Okay, the jam's sticking up so it is. Oh, I'm just doing some bread now for Oh, just in time. Just in time. Looks good. Just in time. You put it away, next deal, sorry. Rain's calling a halt on the play, is it, yeah? Oh, cool. <laughs> it's a bit of lavy, PJ. Uh -huh. So, I've fried my bannock, or, and PJ's begging his up against the fryer traditionally, so, both looking good, looking good. I could be eating now, rightly. Really. The jam? Mm. Yeah. I think if you take it off the heat, PJ. It'll let it just see. do it the same. Mm. That's what I call a jam, like, yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. Mm. Get a pan on there for the yeah. some haggis. The whole pan of haggis, so. Yummy. Why not? Haggis is yummy. What is that? What's the cow? Oh, you should get another one. <laughs> I'm stoned for this. Is You go there? Yeah. Oh, I will go there. I will go. Mm. Where will I go? I think I'll go there. I'll go here. Um. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, we're just having something slightly different today. What are you having, Maida? I'm having some haggis bread and some jam on my bed. Go and put some jam on your bread some then. some jam on your bread. Maida, get it for you. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. It's going nice and thick. Oh, wow. Eva. So, we have some bannock, 
some mixed fruit jam made on the day and some haggis from Scotland. It goes well together as it does. Mm. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always if you like what we do give us a like and subscribe and drop a wee comment down below. We're up the north west coast of Northern Ireland that I saw were a lovely walk and it was nice to get out definitely so it was thanks for PJ for telling us about the location and showing us where to go and it was a really good day. Thank you.